Lesson 1, 2. Graphs. The most, most basic way of graphing is to make a table where you choose the x and you calculate the y. For example, if I'm graphing this, maybe I could do negative 2 for the x, and then we'd plug it into our little equation to find the y. So we'd have 3 become plus 1, which is 4. So we have negative 2, 4. I'm going to try negative 1, plug that in. Gives us 3 and a half. Many calculators will make a table for you automatically. If you have a graphing calculator, you can use that. Try a zero. Fill that in. Try a one. Plug that into our equation. And notice this is making a straight line. So we can use that pattern to continue our straight line. And that is our graph. If you have a TI graphing calculator, you'd hit the Y equals button, enter in your equation, and then hit the table button. If you have a NumWorks, You're going to go to the Grapher app, enter your function, and then you can look at your table. There are some parts of graphs. We have the intercepts. The intercepts are the points where a graph crosses the axes. So at the x-intercept point here, it is whatever the x is and up and down 0. So to find the x-intercept, you'd let y equal 0 and solve for x. Likewise, for the y, it's over 0 and up whatever the y-intercept is. So we could let the x be 0 and solve for y. So let's find the intercepts of this. Well, let's start with the x-intercept. So we'll let the y equal 0 and we'll solve for x. So we'll subtract 2, divide by 2, and then square root. Remember when you're solving an equation, you square root both sides, you have to put the plus and minus. Now, square root of negative 1 is not real. So that means there are no real x intercepts. Let's try the y intercept. Let the x equal 0. You get 2. So the y intercept would be 0, 2. which, if you're curious, the graph looks like this. Crosses right there at 0, 2, and does not cross the x-axis. All right, for circles, we have this equation, where hk is the center and r is the radius. This comes from the Pythagorean theorem. If you have a circle, you have a point. That distance is r. The center is hk. This distance, this point is x, y. So 
we can just make a right triangle. The difference on the horizontal would be x minus h. The distance up and down would be y minus k, since so it's just a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's graph this. All right, so if I compare, this is x minus a negative 2 and a y minus 1. Therefore, h is negative 2 and k is 1. Because it's always what's subtracted. The negative 2 is subtracted and the 1 is subtracted. And then the 4 is the r squared. So if r squared is 4, then r would be 2. So we start at negative 2, 1. That's our center. And we go the radius each direction. So go over 2, up 2, left 2, down 2, and draw a nice circle.